Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at our FPS asset that you can use as an optimization tool. We're going to take a look at the dagger toss template. So let's open that up. If you haven't seen our optimization video that we released, make sure you check it out. We'll probably need to create a couple more videos to cover more of the things that you have to look for to optimize your game. But that video is a good place to start. So check it out if you haven't already. And for this video, we'll provide a link in description for where you can download the FPS asset. Before we add the FPS, let's click a preview. And this is the template that we're looking at. That's how it works. And to add the FPS asset, we'll go to UI and we can drag and drop the FPS asset into our UI. So it appears right here and we can leave it there. Now we can press preview. Now, as you can see, we have the FPS count displayed here. Currently, the game is averaging at around 60 frames per second. That's the target frames per second for Billbox. And we're doing pretty good on this machine. So let's try to do some changes to our scene so we can decrease the frames per second. Let's go to our 3D world and let's select these 3D models, which are pretty heavy on processing power and we'll just duplicate a whole bunch of them. Let's see if that slows it down. Preview. And we can see that all of those objects got our frame per second count down to 27. As you can see, we have a slower movement of our tree trunk. So it's important to look at the FPS count because currently Buildbox is using that FPS count to calculate the movement in the 3D world. Everything inside the 3D world will run at the same delta time. So if you don't know where delta time is, if we select any of these objects, for instance, the trunk, and we go to master, that's where the rotation is being calculated. And we look at the update, we have the DT, which stands for delta time, so that we can use that delta time to calculate the movement. But in here, even if the frame rate slows down, the delta time is always the same. It's 1 over 60, so 1 over 60 frames, which is 0 0.0167 if you round it up. And due to that, if our frame rate slows down, that means the update function gets called only 30 times per second instead of 60. That's where we are noticing that slowdown in the game. For some reason, this is how the update works in the 3D world. Inside UI, you actually won't see that effect. The update in UI also run at the frames per second speed, but the delta time will change with the frames per second. So for instance, if we run at 60 frames per second, the delta T in UI will be 0 0.0167. If we run at 30 frames per second, the update delta time will be 0 0.033. So the delta time increases to compensate for the frame per second drop. And that's only how it works in UI right now. And in 3D world, Billbox currently has fixed delta time. You can see here that they have their own fixed delta time calculation, 1 over 60. But delta time that comes in an update is also 1 over 60. So I'm not sure why they are recalculating it. And this is some custom script that they wrote or they modified something in existence. We can check out the default rotate that comes with Buildbox. And we can see that fixed delta time calculation is also here. So knowing that the 3D world is expected to run at 60 frames per second, any drop in count of our frames per second in our game will slow down all 3D world movements. 
So that is why it's important right now to use the FPS count and try to achieve the target rate of 60 frames per second to have the game work as you design it to work. Now, the amount of objects I can run on my PC is different than the amount of objects I can run on my phone. And it varies also from phone to phone. On my older device, my Galaxy S6, if I run this template without even adding all the extra objects that I added, the frame rate that I get on my phone is 10 frames per second. And that slows down the game by six times. So when you're making games, you need to test on your device and see what is the frame rate that you are getting on your phone. There is no way that we can change our target FPS currently. If we had that option, we could have slowed the target rate to 30 and our game would still feel smooth, but we don't have that option. So that's just a quick run through the FPS asset that we have. So hopefully this will be helpful for you guys. And if you like this video, click on the like button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, subscribe. And we'll see you next time.